Hello and welcome to part 4 of creating a jQuery image slider and today we're just going to be carrying on with the dynamic image slider. So without further ado, let's just carry on with the tutorial. So now we need to make this dynamic images be collected within the slider div. So in here we're going to open the PHP tag and close the PHP tag. As you can know, you can do PHP blocks anywhere on the document. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple variables. The first is going to be called image display and for now that's going to be equal to nothing. Then the next is going to be called images. Now this is where we scan the directory for all the images and PHP has a function for that and funnily enough it's actually called scan dir. Now for this I just missed out the n so let me just correct that here. And you can see it's highlighted blue saying that I've spelt it right. Well done Joe. Now in here you just put the directory you want to scan. So as we already know it's a directory, we're going to put uploads, you don't need to put a forward slash in after that because as I said it already knows it's a directory, hence the function name. Okay, so after this what we're going to do is we're just going to create a for each loop and it's going to loop through that directory. So we're going to do for each, open bracket, and we're going to do for all the images, which is the image variable, and we're going to call it all the images, so we're going to call it the images file. So the images are now going to be called file and that's going to be separate, equal to each image, if that makes sense. Once again, we'll be going over the for each function in another PHP tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to echo out that file variable. And if we refresh, you can see that it actually prints out the PHP file, but it also includes these three dots at the start. Now that scan dir actually does that and I don't really know why but I have a way around that anyway. So we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call it ignore. Now it's going to be equal to an array and this array is going to hold the items which we want to ignore. So we're going to put in two double quotation marks, comma two double quotation marks. The last one we're going to put in two dots and the first one we're going to put in the first dot and that is going to ignore all of them dots. So now if we do if not in array the file and then the ignore function. So if the file is not equal to the items we want to ignore, then we're going to do whatever's in these curly braces. So of course we're going to echo out that file for now. And you can see that these dots have been removed and you just get the file name within that directory. Okay, so once we've done that, we can actually echo, we can actually make the image display variable equal to the image. So if we type in image display, And then we're going to do the dot equals so that it concatenates onto every single one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put in the image with the ID of 1, which is going to be a static ID for now, but later on we'll go and change that. And it's going to have the source of, if we do single, qu single quotation mark, period, single quotation mark after the uploads, then what we can do is we can concatenate onto, um, we can concatenate a variable onto this. So we're going to concatenate the variable of file. Now we just need to set the border to none and close it off. Now if we refresh this, what you will see is nothing. And that's because what I did wrong is I basically didn't echo it out after the PHP function. So let's go back into Dreamweaver and echo that out after this for reach. So we're going to echo out the image display. Okay, so once that's done, we go ahead and refresh. You can see that I've made another mistake as the image isn't showing, and that's quite simply because um, back into the PHP, um, I didn't put a forward slash after uploads, so it doesn't go into that directory, it just says it's a file name, which it isn't. But you can see now it works, and if we upload, say, another file, you can see that once it's going through that, it will then loop through like that. And you can see the page source. We've included both of these images. But you can see that it didn't actually loop through, and that's because both the IDs are set to 1. So we need to create an iteration. So we're going to create a new variable named i, and it's going to be the default set to two double quotation marks and 1. And that's going to select, like set i to the string of 1. Now, after we've set the image display, we're just going to do i++. Plus plus. And that's going to plus one onto i every time we loop through it. 
So now, exactly the same way how we concatenated it on, we're just going to concatenate the i variable within that. So now if we refresh, you can see that not only shows that is set function, but it also shows the xamp one after that. So uh, there we go, and that's how we make a dynamic image slider. You can see that if I upload the super globals image, that after a while, after these ones have gone through, it will automatically show that too. Now, the upload doesn't have to be on the same page. You could have it on an admin page or something like that on your document. So don't worry about that. But that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about the mistakes I've made in the tutorial, but I also corrected them and I hope you followed them along well. So thank you once again, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Goodbye.